in this video we're going to be looking at simple and compound interest but specifically when there are frequencies involved. This is for Manslet grade 11 and 12. Now before we get down to that let's just compare two graphs simple and compound interest. Now I'm going to put here the amount or rand or the interest and the time. Now if you look at a simple interest graph you'll see that it grows in the form of a straight line so it's actually a constant growth it's not going to be more or less it's going to be the same amount of growth okay and then the reason for that is the formula so a is the final amount that you would end with in the formula then p is your start amount so this is the amount your principal amount this is what you would start with and then you multiply that by i for interest and n for the time. So it's just a multiplication sum basically. Now when we look at the compound interest graph you'll see that it grows exponentially. So it's kind of an exponential graph and so we say here the growth um, is fast, much faster than for simple interest. And here you also have the time and here the amount. Now let's look at y. If you look at the formula, you have a, which is your final amount, p, your principal amount, brackets 1 plus i, and then you have here the power n. So now in this case, we see that the n is an exponent compared to just multiplying and having a normal multiplication sum, and that's why compound interest grows so fast. All right, let's talk about um, frequencies. Now when I say frequencies, I mean how often interest is calculated or how frequent. Okay, now in this video we're only going to do um, work with frequencies in compound interest. So just take a note of that. Okay, now when we're talking about frequencies, um, let's just look at the formula again. If you um, have interest and it's calculated once a year, so once per annum, then you remember the formula that we just did, A equals P1 plus I to the power N. However, if it's more than once per annum, so now your interest is calculated more often, and now it's going to be 1 plus I over or divided by f your frequency and to the power n. And now in this case you must also note that this n is the number of times that you are going to be calculating interest. So if they say maybe for five years, okay, your interest is compounded for five years and it's maybe monthly, let's say monthly. This means that since there's 12 months in a year, and for 5 years, you're going to be getting this interest. So your n will then be 5 times 12, which is 60. So in the case where there are years involved, you must multiply it with the frequency. However, if they just say maybe a few months, like in the examples you'll see, it's different. Okay. Now let's talk about these frequencies. So in the place of F, if it's monthly, you'll put 12, daily 365, quarterly 4, because they're 4 quarters in a year, and then semi-annually, or sometimes they'll also say biannually, 2, because remember, there are two halves in a year. Just remember that. It's like two halves in a whole. Okay, and then there's one more thing we must look at, and that is the I in the formula. Now the I, we've said here, yeah, it's your interest. But you're going to find difficulty working your sums out if you say, for example, 4,2%. You can't use that 4,2%. You're going to have to say, I say 4.2 divided by 100. So you have to divide your interest by 100. And then you work with a decimal, so 0 0.042. Always do this and work with a decimal amount. Okay, let's look at an example and apply all of this. So if you invest 15,000 Rand, that's your principal, your start amount, at 4.2% per annum, that's your interest rate, go and divide that by 100, then we say, okay, 0 
2. Compounded monthly, wow, so that tells me now I have a frequency and the frequency is 12. Determine how much you will have after 4 months. So this is your time. Now since it's not a bunch of years, it's just 4 months and it's compounded monthly. So every month you get um, uh, interest is calculated, which tells me the number of times will just be 4 times. There's no years involved or anything here. Now what we're going to do, and you must compare this to the next section, we're going to do the long method. If there's 4 months, we start with the first month. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to start with your principal amount 1. So that's 15,000 Rand that you are saving or investing. And then you add the principal amount again and you multiply that with the interest over the frequency. Now the principal amount again is 15,000. You put brackets in because you're multiplying. The interest 0 0.042. The frequency is 12 since it's months. There's no N or anything involved in this case and you get your P2 value. Okay, now what this means is I'm basically determining the interest in this bracket part. How much interest will I get on 15,000 Rand if the interest rate is 4.2%? And then basically you'll get an answer of like 52 Rand um, 50 cents and then you just add it to your principal amount your start amount so you can know what you end with after the first month so you invested that 15,000 rand after the first month you got interest and it's now um, it stands at 15,052 rand and 50 cents great now you're going to use this new p2 or this new amount and you're going to start with it in the second month Okay, so in the second month you start with 15,052 rand 50 cents and now there's interest on this amount because it's compound interest. So you start with that again because you want to find out how much interest will you get um, if the interest rate is 4.2%. So you put in 0 0.042 over the frequency that's 12 and then you end off after the second month with a little bit more. You have now 15,105 and 18 cents. Okay, so this person invested or you invested money for four months so we go to month three we now again start with this ending amount so when you start with it you put it in 15,105 18 cents plus make brackets you find your um, interest on that amount again so you multiply it by 0 0.042 over 12 and you get 15,158 rand and five cent last month now month four so you start with that ending amount again and so let me just make an arrow here you start with that amount again and you find out the interest you now have which is 0 0.042 that's your interest rate over 12 and now finally after four months you end with 15,211 rand and 11 cents so you made about 211 Rand interest after you invested 15,000 Rand. Okay, so if you want to use like a formula for this long method, you say P1 plus P1 times the interest rate over the frequency and that gives you your new amount. Okay, so if you want to do this quick and easy, the short way, what we're going to do is we will use the formula. But make sure you know what your question expects of you. And um, we see again that P, your principal amount, is still 15,000. Your interest rate is still 0 0.042. Remember to use it as the decimal. And it's still compounded monthly, so your frequency is still 12. And we said your time is still in, that's four months. Okay, the formula P, 1 plus I over F times N. And remember that N is the amount of times that your interest is calculated throughout this whole time. It's only 15,000 Rand that you're investing and the interest is 0 0.042, frequency is 12, and we oh, no, it's only four times instead of four times something, okay? Work it out, print your calculator just like that and you'll see you'll get 15,211 and 11 cents. Okay, that's the end of this video. Remember to share, like, subscribe, and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.